oh crap i gotta go pick that up 20 40 60 crap i'm missing money hey guys it's wendy valencia welcome back and if you're new to my channel my husband mauricio and i are on the dave ramsey plan to pay off more than three hundred thousand dollars worth of debt as quickly as possible and we're taking you along every single step of the way to hopefully motivate you to get out of debt and stay out of debt so if that is something interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today, we're doing cash envelopes. Every month, we get the cash out of the bank for the entire month, and then we put them in our cash envelope system. This is my cash envelope system. It is a very old wallet that I have labeled with little labels. And in the back, I have other envelopes back here that I use for things that are less frequent. Today, we are going to go through our cash envelopes. Now, before we get into that, let me tell you how much money we had left over. Looky, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. $82 left over from the cash envelopes last month. And I was going to deposit this, but as you can see from my lovely hair, Melina and I are both going to get our hair cut this morning. And so I'm gonna take this cash with me. And if it's less than this to get our hair cut, then I'm just gonna pay in cash. So it's a fly by the seat of our pants kind of budget this month. So the first thing we are funding is our groceries. So we have every month $260 for groceries. And you will see all of my dollar bills are facing the same way. Why? because I am type A and all money must face the same way all the time. So I'm gonna put that here in the grocery money. Oops, apparently when I was counting, I missed the $8 that were in my grocery budget. So I had $80, $90 left over. My wallet's magic, it just makes money appear. So I'm gonna throw this in the haircut fund. It's like a haircut slush fund. I'm very excited to get my haircut. But I gotta tell you, I'm even more excited for Melina to get her hair cut because if you saw my videos last week, that was a motivating factor for us. So I am going to take her and I'm going to get her this hairstyle, fingers crossed, it comes out this cute because I'm done with my daughter looking like a disaster all the time. She's got these hairs like I do. See how I have these baby hairs that always grow in right around my scalp line? It doesn't work for Melina. Her hair is too fine too straight it just sticks straight out it looks awful all the time so we are going to go back to bangs we have given up on the growing out the banks back on track wendy 260 into the grocery envelope the next thing we have is 200 dollars for blow money for mauricio and i mauricio and i frequently spend our blow money on lunches out with co-workers about once a week we go out to lunch with our co-workers and we really enjoy that and look forward to it so this handy dandy Andy little envelope that I got going on here and I put the money in there and then every Sunday I dole out $20 to Mauricio and $20 to me which reminds me oh I need to take out $20 for me and $20 for Mauricio for next week the next thing I've got going on here is $20 to the dry cleaner that is another of these envelopes that I keep in the back <gasps> look at this look at this and there's already 20 in there. So this 20, I did a horrible job of piling up my money. Oh no, so now we're up to $100, $110, sorry. So I'm gonna take 20 out for that and that goes to the haircut slush fund. And $20 in the dry cleaner. Do I have anything else? Yes, $20 for Sally Beauty. So I'm not sure where all this money has come from, but we are now up to, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130. So we have $130 for Melina and I to get our haircuts with the, to pay cash, and then the rest of this is going to get deposited back into the bank and put to debt. I have no idea how much our haircuts are gonna cost. None, not even a little bit. So I'm gonna put all this money look, into the haircut envelope. Seriously, magic purse. I'm starting to think people are slipping money in here. So then the next thing we've got going on is Mauricio's haircuts, which are $25. I'm gonna throw that into the haircut money as well. 
and then twenty dollars for sally beauty for or hair coloring supplies for wendy and that goes in the sally beauty envelope and then the last 100 dollars is for family outings now there are some super fun free things going on for us this month about probably a year ago we did a rise against hunger thing and it was super fun and I'll link that video up here and we are going to be doing that again and that is totally free and that's like free family fun with like a charity spin to it so that will be super fun. My parents church is having a chili cook off so that works on donation so we'll probably take a little bit of that money and put that in there for the chili cook off and do that. What else do we have going on? This month is the daddy daughter dance. So I don't know if Mauricio is gonna wanna do a full date with Melina and like take her out to dinner before the dance or not. So I'm gonna have some of that extra money. Maybe they'll go to like McDonald's cause that would be super fun for Melina or Chick-fil-A. No, she'll be all dressed up. So she doesn't need to be playing on playground equipment. I don't think I'm missing any money. I, somehow I have more money than I started with, so I'm not sure what's going on with my wallet, but hey, more is better than less, right? Yes. I just got a quote from the bank. And? They said the relation to Kurt Cobain. <laughs> We're not late on the credit card payment. We are months and months and months ahead on the credit card payment, so clearly not a true story. So I am going to just say, see ya. That's all I got, we're done.